Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Uh, today we it's still Hankathon. Um, I started doing other stuff and it kind of slipped my mind, but we're back on the thon. It's Hankathon. And today we're talking Dead Dame in the Trunk. Now, um, this book here, um, this one was a lot of fun for me um, because for those of you who are fans of hard-boiled detective fiction <clears throat> with your your PIs, your private eyes, your private dicks, um, one of the main tropes, I guess, in this world is the police force having a negative reaction to the private dick because, and I think in one of the Hank short stories, like I even talk about it where it's like, they don't like me cause I could do things that they can't. Um, they're, they have a bunch of rules that they have to live by whether they do or not. And I don't have those rules or something like that. So that's one thing. And, um, in Hank's world, one of the things is is that the the chief, the head honcho, he actually kind of likes Hank. Um, they're probably um, two dudes that would um, get beer together, you know, have a beer and just shoot the shit. Um, and get along okay. They're kind of cut from the same cloth. But um, Rich Ingalls is um, his name. And he doesn't like that Hank could kind of do whatever he wants for the most part. But he also respects him a lot. So you have that little thing there. But then you also have... Um, everyone else on the police force who um, kind of thinks Hank is a piece of garbage. So there's that. The second thing that I started in this book, which um, will go each Hank book that I do, is the um, problem with the secretary. Now, um, in the first book, his secretary was um, his kid sister. And um, while I was writing that book, I didn't think it was working. So um, I came up with a way to um, kind of write her out of the book. And so now, every time there's going to be a, another book, he will have another secretary. It's like this kind of revolving door kind of thing. And um, they each have issues for different ways. Um, and I believe the secretary in this one is named Ivana. Um, I think that's what her name is. And... Um, she has um, a certain way about her that um, is really fun, but also terrifying. So um, Hank has his issue with that. Um, but the other bit is, is that in hard-boiled fiction, one of the things that I kind of frown upon I guess um, and this is like the Mike Hammer kind of way of doing something if you look at the Mike Hammer books you'll notice that um, he very rarely gets hired to do anything he usually has something just happen and he is like pulled into this and he just happens to be a private dick <clears throat> Um, and that's not one of my favorite ways of doing it. It's kind of like the Murder, She Wrote vibe where, um, oh, if I go visit my friend, they will die and blah, blah, blah. 
So um, there's that. Um, and so in Dead Dame in the Trunk, I wanted to kind of amplify the problems Hank has with the, the local cops. I had a fun secretary for him. And um, I wanted to, because if you remember in Dead Dame Curse, he was hired to do something. In this case, he wasn't hired to do something. Something happened, which I just said I didn't like, but I wanted to do it. I wanted to like have a story where that happens. But in this sense, he was framed to do something. So, um, the fact that he's framed in this is the kind of catalyst to get this going. So, what is happening is, in Dead Dame in a Trunk, is the story opens up with Hank waking up from, like, a just savage hangover, okay? He wakes up, he's in his apartment... The place is kind of messy. He's trying to remember what happened the night before. The front door's open, like, like wide open. And, um, so he's like walking around, like, just like remembering. He's like, oh shit. Yeah. I went out with such and such. He goes out with this chick who, um, hit him up to go have drinks And then instead of going back to her place, which they usually do, they went back to his place. And um, he thought that that was kind of strange because she liked her place or whatever. So he's walking around and he notices that there's no booze. And so he's going to drive to the store to go pick up some stuff and because he needs a drink bad. And he remembers that there should be like a bottle of scotch or a bottle of gin in the trunk. So he gets out of the car and walks around and opens the trunk. <clears throat> and the girl is in his trunk dead, strangled with his necktie. He panics, as one would in this situation. And he goes back inside like he's going to call somebody. And then he starts like putting all this stuff together and starts like doing the math. And then um, when he he's doing this, he hears tires screeching. And he goes outside and his car is gone. So someone has stolen his car. The body of a friend of his is in the trunk of the car. um, Strangled with his necktie. The whole deal. So this is not looking good for him. So he starts investigating. The, The chick is a reporter who was doing a story on some high up... Um, government people so that is where he goes Um, the newspaper then hires him um, not really thinking I don't know if they were thinking why he was on the case in the first place but then they hire him because like she was like a member of the team and now she's dead and they hire Hank to um, solve the crime or whatever find out who did it but the catch is, is that one of the reporters from the newspaper has to go with them so they could get the scoop on the story because no one can do anything because they're fucking good people. They got to do it so they could get something in return. So that is the story of Dead Dame in the Trunk. And um, I think it is really fast paced and it really moves. Um, it's very different from uh, Dead Dame Walking and um, Dead Dame Curse. Um, I think Dead Dame Walking and Dead Dame Curse um, are closer together as far as um, the type of book they are, whereas Dead Dame in the Trunk is, I think, a little more grittier. So um, that's Dead Dame in the Trunk. Um, I hope you like it. Um, Links to my books on Amazon will be down below. And let me know if you've read this and what you thought about it. And until next time... Join this page, members. I'll see you later.